channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I use my Erin Condren notebook. And let me show you guys what it looks like. I love this thing. It's so amazing. It took me a long time to start writing in it because I didn't want to mess it up. But now that I started writing in it, I cannot stop. And even though it's very sporadic and it's uh, not really an organized notebook, I really enjoy it. I actually just ordered another notebook that is supposed to ship next week and I ordered some extra covers as well. So I'm really excited to get that and I'll show you guys how I'm going to use that one as well. So I wanted to take you guys through and show you how I use this. It's really an amazing product. I have loved everything so far that I've got from Erin Condren's website. I am in the process now of looking at her desk pads. I saw the idea to tear the sheets off and stick them on your fridge as kind of like a family guide, which I think is a great idea because we have a calendar in our bedroom, but it's in our bedroom and so we don't look at it all the time. And I know for a fact that my husband does not look at it. So I'm really tempted to get one of the desk pads and just rip off each month and stick it on our fridge so he knows what time his softball games are, when Liam's sports classes are, etc. I am I'm, I'm almost I'm like this close to deciding whether or not to get it, but I think I'm gonna end up getting it. Um, like I said, I've I have a uh, life planner, I have a notebook, I have uh, the planner bands. And I have the mini calendar that came with my notebook when I purchased it. And I have an address book that's coming tomorrow and I'll be doing a review of that. And I ordered uh, an ex two extra covers. I ordered a Halloween cover, um, another cover, and another notebook, and some more planner bands. So I can safely say that I love Erin Condren. I really have been impressed with her products. I. I'm obsessed with them. I spend a lot of time working on them and decorating and writing in them. It's kind of crazy. It's it, it's become like an obsession and I've I've created I've obtained this incredible amount of planner supplies like washi tape and stickers, etc. that now I have to buy a desk to put them in because I have so much stuff, which you've seen in my other videos if you've watched them. If not, go watch them and you'll see how crazy it is. So I'm going to show you guys through this um, notebook and show you guys how I use it and a couple of little um, tricks that I've kind of figured out for myself that help me uh, figure out where I'm writing in it. Okay, so this is what my planner looks like. I just have my name along the side and I don't remember um, what pattern this is or the colors, but if somebody wants to know, just leave a comment below and I'll um, look it up and uh, let you know. So when you first open it up, oh, let me move my stickers out of the way here. I had to write down notes so I remembered what to tell you guys. So when you first open up, it has the same piece as the uh, life planner. It says, this is my life. I have not figured out what I want to put there, so I've left it blank. And then it just has the basic home page, um, which a lot of people use this as a dashboard. I don't like to thicken up my um, notebook, so I chose not to do that. And then it has a quote page, and then um, I'm just doing this real quickly because I do have a review on this notebook. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link right here. Click the play button, bu the play button if I could talk, and that will take you to the review of the uh, notebook. So it has all of these line pages and a bunch of blank pages. Now the first thing that I want to show you guys, and hopefully you're able to see this, is that I have been using the... Um, Erin Condren stickers to mark where I have used pages and you guys can see right there oh I'm trying to keep it in focus can you see like that green one and there's a pink and a blue and another blue I've been using those to mark where I'm writing in the notebook I do not want to start at the front page and just go through and write I like to, when I'm ready to write something new, I like to flip through, find a spot, and stop, start writing. I know that sounds weird, and I'm not entirely sure why I do it that way, but that's what works for me. So I have been taking the little tabs, which you can see right here. Let me show you right up here in the corner. And I've just been putting the tab on the corner and folding it over, and then you can easily see it from the side, and I can see that that page has been used, and so I can flip right to it. Another thing that I do is I do have a, uh, I ordered an extra um, ruler from Erin Condren and so I'm putting that on the page that I've been writing in the most. So 
So I'm just going to take you through real quick and show you the things that I have written in here already. This is a very random notebook. I use it for work. I use it for food. I use it for a um, success planning organization uh, kind of workshop that I've been doing for the last 30 days. I'm going to use it for organization. It's just a hodgepodge of stuff and I really like it that way. So my first little tabby here, I used it to um, write down some activities that are going on in a local park. And then the next page here is, are some notes from a work meeting. We have a meeting, um, we have a meeting in my department every uh, month. And then we also have an all staff meeting for our entire uh, lending area. And so I write down notes from those meetings in here. And then the next section is a section for March of Dimes. And this is just where I am writing down information for any March of Dimes events that we have. Um, my company is a sponsor of March of Dimes and I am actually going to be the ambassador family. My family is going to be the ambassador family for the 2015 year. So I'm excited for that and we do a lot of fundraisers for the March of Dimes. So I keep that information in here as well. And then my next page is where I started the um, 30 day, I think it's the 30 day success challenge. As you can see, I've left space up the top here because I haven't quite decided how I want to decorate the heading for this, but it basically is a 30 day program. So I have day one and then I have the date and then I just have my notes or the assignment for that day, etc. And then it just goes through and I use a different color for every day and it goes all the way through up to, you know, whatever day we're on, which we just finished day 23. So that's in there. And then my next section where I have my ruler is where I'm putting down ideas for food. Now I know I do this in my mini calendar as well, which I did a um, walkthrough of that. So make sure you guys check that out. But I am also keeping a list in here because there's a lot more space. So I'm keeping a list of veggies, fruit that I like, different meal ideas, and other foods that I need to be incorporating in my diet. Then my next uh, section here is actually the Smart Success Seminar. Now this is by, um, I think her name's Shalene Johnson. Her and her husband do this Smart Success um, Academy and she has recently been posting a few uh, videos online talking about her academy and kind of giving an overview of what they go through. And so I've been watching those videos and just taking notes in my planner here. And then my next section, I think there's one, two more. Yeah. Um, this next one is like this back section is kind of for vlogging. This one is vlog ideas, um, ideas that you guys have given me, ideas that I've come up with. I just write them down here. And then this was the entries for my giveaway that I did for vlogging every day in September. So, and then of course, um, I don't have anything back here in these folders or anything yet. I haven't um, had the, to put anything back so there. So that's how I use my notebook. I'd be interested to know how you guys use your notebook. I know there's a million different ways that you can use it. I've seen some people use it as a five-year journal, which I think is a great idea. I've seen some people use it as a uh, fitness log, like a Weight Watcher tracker, uh, a journal, a scrapbook. There's all different kinds of ways that you can use your uh, notebook. It's a great product. I really love it. I think the quality is amazing. The um, covers are removable, as you'll see in my review if you check that out. So you can change it up if you want to. It's just a really nice product. I do have a link down in the description box if you are new to Erin Condren or are getting ready to place your first order. Sign up using that link in the description box and you guys will get a coupon for $10 off. And usually with your first purchase, you will receive a welcome coupon for $10 and then sometimes she throws in a $15 off coupon as well. So she's good about um, getting coupons in her orders. Um, but anyway, so that is what I use this notebook for. And like I said, I will be showing you guys what I'm going to use my other notebook for. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos that are coming up. And I will see you guys later. Bye.